hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the girl uh, indian girl photography this one was the main photography non-edited image and after adding my preset and uh, after adding the color effects pro we are getting the final result like that so before one was like that and after one you are getting like this you'll be benefited by this tutorial so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications i'm delete this this i used this image from the unsplash.com that means i downloaded this one i'll provide you the download link in my video description and uh, i'll apply my preset and then i'll use uh, what uh, i'll apply my preset and uh, i'll discuss about the things the settings over there and how to treat that so let's start here press ctrl or command j for the new copy of this layer giving the name edit and after that going to the filter and camera filter by the way i'm using photoshop 2022 and camera 14.1 so after that here is small menu going to the load settings options from here indian girl 2022 and loading it up so you are getting the instant change over there so let's see what i have used the settings over here exposure point now uh, 43 and the contrast plus 37 and the highlight minus 70 that's why uh, you are getting uh, the proper uh, tone of the face over there if you make this one highlighted it will be overexposed and it won't be a uh, perfect light uh, matching with the face okay here the shadow uh, plus 31 um, i just increase just because of if i made this one it will be darker so uh, some times you uh, like that but uh, uh, i think this one is good to uh, adding the proper lightings in the photography here the whites the plus uh, one and the blacks uh, minus 18 whites if you increase the white it will be overexposed so it should be the balance like a uh, plus one or two and the blacks if you make the blacks like that it will be like that this uh, type of spoiled so it should be the moderated like this but i made this one the minus value just because of um, this one help you out to make these dehaze uh, though here is a dehaze option just the blacks if you make it down it will be more uh, prominent from the these edges um, the shadows uh, over here the black area of the face and the dresses over there In the texture portion that is zero and clarity that is the three you can make it zero uh, if you don't want to more uh, clarity you can just make it down if you make the clarity down it will be uh, like soft type tone and uh, here the texture if you increase the texture the face texture will appear so i don't want to do that here the dehaze uh, if you make it hazy it will be like foggy type but i don't want to i just made it that's why um, like uh, plus three or four is good for me here the vibrance um, and the saturation i made the saturation down if i make it a little bit saturated it will be uh, more like uh, the all color is uh, uh, overlapping each other just because of here is all are the warm color the pink the red orange and the golden everything uh, is a prominent color um, in that color uh, the model phase will be height um, in that color just that's why i made the saturation minus eight that's good basic option is done the curve option i uh, just used here the tone curve uh, that is the rgb tone curve here the input value 0 and output value 0 input value 37 and output value 30 input value that is 86 and output value 84 input value 150 and output value 154 here uh, input value 255 and output value 253 35 235 actually okay in the detail portion the sharpening i used it uh, 58 and uh, the uh, radius one and the detail 25 masking i didn't use the masking noise reduction if you want to add the noise reduction you can add a little bit not too much otherwise uh, it will uh, deregard the quality of the photo that's good and the noise reduction which is the color noise that is 25 okay that's good color mixture at first the hue saturation luminance three things hue uh, i want to tell the basic things hue uh, which color will be it defines with the hue saturation percentage of that color and the luminance intensity of that color so here hue i'm using the hue the color belt uh, red hue that is 14 if you give the 14 value you will get the exact same color over here that's why i'm just uh, telling you the uh, value of these uh, i used over here the orange plus four yellow plus four green plus three aqua 
minus 4 and the blue minus 16 and here uh, the purple that is minus 19 and magenta plus 32 here here the saturation i made the saturation red minus uh, 14 all the things are minus value just because of i made this one uh, earlier uh, the, the tone down that's why i made it out so if you make the value minus uh, it will be toned down that's why i made it so red minus 14 orange minus 33 yellow minus 39 green minus 61 aqua uh, minus 39 and the blue minus 30 and the purples minus 29 and the magenta that is minus 34 and luminance sometimes i made the luminance toned down and sometimes i made it up just because of orange made it up just because of that is the face color and an ambient color that's why i made this one plus value other uh, things that are like red uh, yellow minus uh, six minus four here the blue minus five and the purple minus three i made it toned down that's why you are getting the balance over here. the before image was uh, not uh, balanced um, just because of all the color is prominent and you are getting the prominent way but in this portion you are getting an artistic tone over here okay that's good and the color grading three things shadow highlight and mid-tone that is the mid-tone and highlight so in the shadow portion which color will be defined with this portion the value is 274 hue uh, remember that hue is always value in the take taking uh, the value that means uh, you are telling uh, here the hue uh, which color that means the 274 number colors you are adding over here in the saturation always say the percentage that means here i used percentage as 16 in a mid-tone portion the less highlighted area suppose in the under of the uh, uh, eyes under of the, the nose that's at the mid-tone i use the value that is 42 and the uh, saturation that is 18 percent or 18 okay highlight the highlighted portion you know that highlighted portion i used here the uh, 43 the value and the saturation 6 and the luminance minus 20 that's good you can use that things as well or uh, as it is my uh, one okay here is the fignetting or uh, distortion i didn't use that geometry i didn't use effects i didn't use if you want you can use the uh, effects from here vignetting a little bit little bit darker the uh, all corners and the calibration and then use the calibration and now hit the ok button i think here some spot over here so going to the filter and going to the neural filter from here i'll make the face a little bit uh, like polished way so from here the smart portrait over here skin smoothing just turning it on the photoshop will adjust the the or uh, find out the face here the blur blur option i didn't I use the blur i want to make it a little bit smooth okay that's good if you want blur okay a little bit blur okay that's good not too much uh, it will make your photographs the before one was like that and after one you're getting like this and hit okay that's good and now going to the filter again and going to the nick collection and color effects pro 4 now which is another plugins for the photoshop adding filters in your photography that's good i'm here the cross processing uh, from here cross processing and lots of sub method over here which color is perfect for your photography you have to define or you have to find it out for my case i'm using here the l02 and the percentage of the strength that is 33 here is the opacity if you make this one up and down here is the assumption to you and hit the ok button so after adding the filter you are getting like that the before one traditional image and after one you are getting the full crop like uh, artistic way uh, from the uh, before and after that's good say before and after you are getting a huge change over here so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say when you're signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers Bye bye